as I was looking up specifically with lusts and just temptation as well as anger and all these things, as you read about the practices of the Seventh Commandment, one of them is to avoid idleness. Avoid idleness. Now notice, I want to say this before I get into this description. This does not mean keep busy. I'm not saying get busy. I'm saying don't be idle. Like how is that, a, what, you're making a difference without a distinction. Well, what I'm saying here is idleness means you're just lazing about, you're doing nothing. Busyness means you're just filling time to do something. What we're calling for you as a Christian, if you're trying to mortify your sin, you're in a process of struggling, be intentional with your actions. Intentional actions. So for everyone from St. Augustine, Calvin, Bavink, John MacArthur, from Christ until today, everyone's calling the one of the best ways to avoid temptation, lust, anger, is intentional action. Intentional action. We have a story in the Old Testament where David gave in to idleness. It goes like this in 2 Samuel 11, 1 through 5. In the spring of that year, the time when kings go out to battle, David sent Joab and his servants with him and all Israel. And they ravaged the Ammonites and besieged Rabbah. But David remained at Jerusalem. It happened late one afternoon when David arose from his couch and was walking on the roof of the king's house. And he saw from the roof a woman bathing. And the woman was very beautiful. And David sent and inquired about the woman. And the one said, Is that not Bathsheba, the daughter of Eliam, the wife of Uriah the Hittite? So David sent his messengers and took her. And she came to him, and he lay with her. Now she had been purifying herself from uncleanness. And then she returned to her house. And the woman conceived, and she sent and told David, I am pregnant. This is one of those famous stories where David was, as we follow the text, he was a king, so he should have been out at war. It was time for war for the kings. I guess when you're a king, there's just like a season that comes up and says, hey, it's time for warfare, so go do your job and just start doing warfare. And just like us, we have like, yeah, it's just war season, everybody. Let's go. <laughs> I'm sure you have war season now and then, and I haven't, but... There are seasons where we are to do something. So what is David doing when he should have been at war? It says he was at his couch at home. In fact, it looks to be that you don't know somebody is pregnant for about 14, uh, my nurses will correct me, 14 to 16 weeks. Can I get a head nod, yes or no, for my nurses? I got a I don't know from one of them. Okay, there we go. <laughs> um, so he was at home for a few months just being idle when he should have been doing kingly acts. And what did he do? It allowed him to be taken in by his lust, and he would end up killing Uriah in war, and the baby would end up dying because he was lazying and idle. He was not intentional with his actions. And so what we're to do is we're to be intentional with what we're doing. If sin is at your door, don't go relax on the couch. Go and actively, intentionally do something constructive. Don't look for busyness like, oh, I got a honeydew list. I'm just going to check it off. Be intentional with your actions. What David should have done was, number one, he should have been doing the job of a king. He should have been at war. He should have been doing his warring. And so for you, if there's something you should be doing... Do that as opposed to giving the devil his ilk in your flesh an option to come and twerk you.